Gentleman from Texas. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's now common knowledge that federal government computers are routinely used to compare lists of 18-year-olds who get driver's licenses with those who have registered for the draft. Computer surveillance seems appropriate for 1994 and, unfortunately, the wave of the future. This is in spite of the fact that Social Securities and Health and Human Services computers are already being used to keep tabs on our 18- and 19-year-olds. A recent story revealed an imaginary person received a threat from the Defense Department if he did not immediately register for the draft. Two brothers seven years ago signed a fictitious name on an ice cream parlor's list in order to get a free Sunday. This list unbelievably found its way into the government's files and is now being used for monitoring our teenagers. Millions of tax dollars are spent on this type of computer surveillance, a disgusting procedure for a professed free society. The irony is that it's done by an administration that brags about its limited government philosophy. And the little condemnation we hear comes from those who would involve government in every jot and tittle of our economic lives. Why is it that it's so difficult to defend freedom consistently across the board?